the lively sound of a fiddle string has delighted audiences for centuries and provided accompaniment to hundreds of beloved songs. Today, let's take a look at exactly how does the fiddle produce sound. What you're seeing is a simulation of the string of a fiddle as the sound the fiddle produces is caused by the string's movement back and forth. So, what we've done is here on the vertical axis, we're showing the deflection of the string, significantly magnified, and on the horizontal axis, you can see the string as it bounces back and forth, therefore producing the sound. Let's take a bit more of an in-depth look at exactly how that sound is produced. We'll start at the beginning and follow each bit as the sound goes. Here we are at the beginning. We start with a stretched violin or a fiddle string, and what we'll do now is walk forward in time. We're going to strike the string, pulling it upward at this point right here. So we're going to pull that string upward, and at this point, we let go. Now, no forces. The string has been stretched right here, and now no force is being applied. We're going to just listen to the sound that that string produces. And already several interesting things have happened. The string resists bending. Anytime you see a bend right there that is producing energy, and the string tries to get rid of that energy by propagating that bend along. So in fact, if we rewind in time, notice this initial bend is creating very high frequencies that travel immediately down the string. So even before we finished applying that initial energy, we've got energy, we've got movement all the way to the end of the string, which is about to reflect. In addition, we've got these two big deflections representing a lot of energy. We move forward in time a little bit more. We're stopping the pluck. Now, remember how this corner was also over here? It's reflected and will soon show up over here. Remembering that higher frequencies travel faster than lower frequencies. Notice this high frequency aspects here on the edge of the wave that begin traveling along the wave. Those high frequencies are going to move much quicker than the rest of the wave. Watch as that reflection happens. Those frequencies from the initial pluck, both from this side of the pluck and from that side of the pluck, have hit, rebounded, and are now propagating along the string. In addition, as we watch those frequencies crawl ahead of the main wave, notice that we have a more complex shape. We've got a hump here, and we've got a second hump here. Those are from the beginning of time. When we first started plucking the string, notice what happened. There's a little bend here and a little bend here. Those two bends are moving faster. This bend is now migrated up to the top, and this bend is leading the rest of the pulse. So as we move forward in time, as I said, this first bend is now propagated up here. The second bend is here, and it's moving faster because it's a higher frequency the rest, than the rest of the wave. As we slide down, see these extremely high frequencies are moving even faster. So they're slowly sliding off the wave, and they're just about, here's the leading edge of these higher frequencies. The extremely high frequencies here have already reflected to both ends and are propagating. These higher frequencies are just about to hit the end of the string and reflect. In the meantime, we've got the significant lump here from that initial bump, and the second lump here as the string propagates. Let's watch those high frequencies bounce, reinforce each other, destructively interfere as they bounce, so that now you can see almost no high frequencies present, but soon they'll reappear. Their potential energy comes back out and begin propagating in the other direction. See how now the entire high frequency pulse train has bounced and is now moving this way and will crawl this way along the wave and they have hit the end and completely bounced before the main body of the wave has even touched the far end. So now we go down to the main body. It hits and the reflections begin. Now what's going to happen here? As we move down the wave, 
all of this energy produced by bending and pulling the string all the way up to here is now going to collapse. So the string is almost flat at this point in time. However, these portions of the string are moving extremely fast. There's a lot of kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy will manifest itself as the pulse now appears on the back side. Notice, by the way, we've got initial high frequencies, some second high frequencies from the wave, and those will begin just moving all over. After that bounce, the wave continues propagating down until we hit the second end. Again, you can see these higher frequency pulses are moving out. Also notice that this lump is no longer as pronounced, and this lump has turned into several smaller lumps. Again, what's happening, these higher frequencies that used to be bunched up are moving faster and therefore spreading that wave out. So here we are, propagating down to the second end. We'll see the second bounce as the wave goes down and comes all the way back up almost flat again, and at this point the wave continues to propagate back and forth. You can see the high frequencies moving left through that wave, and now the reshaped wave without that significant bump is propagating. Again, a second bounce, and we'll see that pattern repeated. However, notice that it changes at all times. It's bouncing back and forth, Higher frequencies continue, the wave is getting wider and wider as the spectral content is decomposed, and that slowed down. Now the entire time you're seeing is about two-tenths of a second of real time. So this is what happens in just the first two-tenths of a second. Let's play the rest of the simulation. The first two-tenths of a second, here's what happens on a fiddle string. Incredibly complex behavior that produces the delightful sound we've all come to know and love. Thank you for your time and interest. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about what really happens when you hear the music of a fiddle.